name is Tiffany. And today I'm going to tell you about the history of ECS. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another season of Lifestyles and Passions of the BCS family. I'm Isaac Fatagoni. What's up everybody, I'm Brooke J. And today in the unicorn seat is Miss Tiffany Tona. Hello. <laughs> Hi. We've all decided to be our true selves today. Yes, we are here. First of all, cheers. Yes. Cheers. Happy fucking Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, so Tiffany, most people might know you as the girl who works in the BCS tent. Mm. Regist under registration, checking people in. Is that what you do full time? That is not what I do full time, <laughs> Isaac. You get asked that all the time. I get asked that so much. Um, so no, what I what I really do is I am an environmental scientist, um, and I do um, environmental due diligence for uh, real estate transactions. Right. What, um, right, right. <laughs> due diligence. Due diligence. Wow, that's a lot of syllables. That it okay. is. <laughs> so basically, if um, uh, if someone wants to protect uh, their investment, they've got like a million dollar property, they send me out there to go make sure um, historically there was no um, contamination on the property that either went into the soil or the groundwater. And then if there was, um, we try to create a system to remediate it to um, make sure it's clean for the uh, next inhabitants of the property. Oh wow, that's yep. pretty, pretty uh, intense. It is, awesome. it's fun. Well, I love and appreciate that you spend your weekends working with BCS under the tent. Yes. <laughs> It's fun. It gets me. It gets me out, like actually talking to people. <laughs> well, well you that's... can't miss that smile. When you, when you first walk up, you see that smile. I know. I love that's it. That's awesome. But yeah. I know that's not why you went and got a master's degree I and have put that. all this time and attention. That's so much. <laughs> amazing brain. I'm sure your parents tell you that all the time. Right. <laughs> right. They're very proud of me for being a scientist, but they are also very proud of me for giving wristbands to people on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. So as a background story. Tiffany and I, have, and I have known each other for almost 10 years. This is going to be our 10 year anniversary. Cheers to, Cheers to that. Cheers that. to that. Cheers. Um, we first met, long story, you were in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I was here. Um, so you're a transplant mm -hmm. living here. I don't know if you had the same experience as I did, but I always thought Orange County was like super exclusive. And so to create a community like BCS mm -hmm. that's not in, non-exclusive, um, that just tries to be friendly to everybody is like, is obviously a huge part of my mission when we started it. So yeah. Thank you for helping me with that. Oh, you know what's funny? Like, when I moved down here, I really thought it was going to be that sort of exclusivity that mm -hmm. everyone kind of talked about. I never got that experience down here. I always saw that people were like super friendly and it was kind of easy to get in and talk to people. That's cool. Yeah. Well, you're super friendly. Mm -hmm. And, and though we joke, like when I first met you, you were not, not that you weren't friendly, you just like were... I was super introverted. Super yeah, I was super introverted. That's what I'm saying. You spent time, you were either, a nice boy, we're saying. You were either in school or you were playing games with your cat in your apartment. Right. Video <laughs> games. Not like playing around with my cat. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> no, you're a solid gamer. It's just me and the cat, guys. I don't even know gaming well, technology, but I know you're like a wizard. Or something. You're obviously I'm a wizard. What's your game of choice? Um, I used to play Final Fantasy XI for almost 11 years, and then I played World, I played World of Warcraft for like six or seven. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wait, so, was it you and I that were talking about the LOL? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I played League of Legends too. Oh. Yeah, League of Legends is awesome. <laughs> I don't see it, but that is awesome. Yeah. Not not so much anymore. It's just between job and social life, it's kind of hard to keep both of them up. Scientist so, priorities. Yeah. Came so scientists there. and being a scientist and <laughs> being out it. and being social is like way more of a priority than being a gamer anymore. Well, I think that's what I wanted to ask you. Like yeah. for people who feel like they're in a shell and want to get out of their shell, I've seen you completely transform in that department. So like. How do you do that? What would you tell people? Okay, so when I was 25, I recognized that um, realistically, I didn't have like a ton of friends. I had friends, but I didn't have like long-term friends that yeah. I kept over the years. Um, and one day it occurred to me, like I really wanted to put myself out there. So I kind of said to myself, what's gonna stop me from talking to someone? What are they gonna punch me in the face? And it kind of <laughs> stuck. Yeah. And um, I started talking to people more and I swear, like, look, if they're gonna punch me in the face, at least you get a good story out of it. Have you ever been punched in the face? I have not been punched <laughs> in the face, so I guess it's 
going to do well. I love it. Hi, my name's Tip. Ooh. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Oh, nice to meet you anyways. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you're one of the happiest people I know. Yeah, I love, dude, it's so much fun being social down here. There's, I mean, it's always sunny. We have the beach. Like, we can go out anytime we want. We have palm trees. It's just this, yeah. like, California honestly gave me, like, the space to really be myself. Because I was not always this unicorn. <laughs> yeah. But, like, no, being, did, being did we, here. Did we wake up like this? Yes, you did. I, I gave you the magical touch. I think I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right. It's really easy to find a lot of reasons to be grateful here. Oh, absolutely. It's just every day. Every day is beautiful. <laughs> Can we cut that? Wow. All right. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, as the most knowledgeable person I know, hands down, on environmental science. What is like something that the average Joe should be knowing or doing that we're not doing? Gotcha. Um, so one of the biggest issues right now and something that absolutely anyone who's watching this can do something about is plastic is such a gigantic issue. Um, it's everywhere. Um, it's made from, it's petroleum based um, and it never ever goes away. It will photodegrade, meaning that the sun can get to it and it'll get into smaller and smaller pieces, but when it gets to smaller and smaller pieces, it gets to um, the food that we eat and it becomes a part of the environment and it's extremely difficult to take out of the environment. So one of the bigger things that you guys can do is um, if you're going to use a plastic product, understand that it does have um, it does have an impact on the world. So if you can stop using straws, um, really stop using plastic bags. There's such a pain in the butt to get rid of. Um, anything plastic, it just know that it's going to be on the earth forever and it's probably going to end up in your system at some time. So if you can, just lower your use on uh, plastic products. This year we will get better at organizing more beach cleanups and we'll ask you guys for help for because sure. that's something that I've wanted to do for a while and I just yeah. haven't been yeah. enacted about it. We should definitely do more beach cleanups. I mean, we're all out there, you know, yeah. everyone pick up a bag of trash, and, you know, yeah. at the end drop it in the container. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, that's yeah. a good yeah. idea. So, Tiffany. Yes, what, what is what, what is help. what is <laughs> <laughs> so what is something that most people don't know about you? Um, so I used to live in Japan for about three years. I went to college for a year at Tokyo International University, and I also lived there and worked there as a teacher for a year. Um, and I speak Japanese. You do not yeah. speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Hit me. Yeah, how's it going? Those are you just doing Oh, I think that's so wow. Cool. That was awesome. <laughs> well, I think this all came about because you are just also into like not EDM music, but you're into. Uh, I love being a raver. Is rave still a word? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're into I love raves being a raver. and music festivals. I love being a raver. It's the best and part of my just life. just happen to all own unicorn onesies. So yeah. No, right it's on. not. It's this is like normal life. <laughs> this These are important. <laughs> I love you. They just want to be friends. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that the BCS family can do to support you and your passions and what you're up to? Yes. On Saturdays, uh, when it's playoffs, please remember to bring your IDs. <laughs> <laughs> and don't get mad at her please, if she asks you. Please remember to register on time for your team. <laughs> speaking of plastic bags. You no, know, speaking of plastic bags, they're keeping up. That's why I took but it But no, out. Just, oh, just, to, just to reiterate, um, yeah, the, if you can go without using as many plastics as, as we all do in our daily life, yeah, we do. It's, just, it's just going to get harder as the days and years go by, as we accumulate more and more. So the more you can take out of it now, the easier it's going to be later. Um, no, usually, uh, um, I'll uh, look at either USGS.gov or NOAANOAA.gov. Um, they give a lot of uh, good information on stuff that's going on in the ocean and the atmosphere and kind of what you can do to help about it or what you can do to help with it. Well, sweet. Well, thanks for taking some time with us today. You're so very welcome. Uh, <laughs> is there something up with these cupcakes? Because they look pretty tasty. Oh my god, my right. unicorn senses are telling me that I should eat those sprinkles with the Oreo with it.